This is Buffalo in the winter. And this is the Buffalo Airport in the winter. On average, the Buffalo Niagara International Airport receives 95 inches of snow per year. Keeping the airport open at times like this takes long days and some serious coordination. We need about seven minutes to get a good sweep on a runway. It's a symphony of plows, brushes, and flying snow. When the Lake Effect snow machine is cranking, so is the grounds crew. But what to do with all that snow that contains copious amounts of de-icing fluid? The active ingredient, propylene glycol, which can be harmful to humans and fish, and all of it winding up in our rivers and streams. For years and years and years, we used to just pump all this glycol to you know, the Buffalo sewer system. And obviously the New York State uh, DEC didn't like that. So that's why we had to come up with a project to treat this glycol. Enter Kimberly Minkle, executive director of the Niagara Frontier Transportation Authority, the governing body of the airport. As a trained biologist, she found a little airport in Schoenfeld, Germany, that had a unique way of treating glycol with indigenous bacteria. We did what's called a treatability study and had isolated bacteria that we thought would be the best performers. Some bacteria do better in the cold than others. Glycol's like candy for uh, the bacteria. The result is an award-winning engineered wetlands that processes the equivalent wastewater of 100,000 people. It's the first and only one of its kind to treat glycol at a U.S. airport. Comprised of four grass-covered football fields, it's not what you think of as a typical wetland. This one is all underground and they're about six feet deep. There's a series of piping, blows air up through each bed. It's filled with gravel, and on top of that is what we call dosing lines, so that the fluid comes in, it trickles down into the bed. The latest addition to their system is a snow melter. This allows them to manage the flow of water instead of it melting all at once in warmer weather. It's a diesel run flamethrower basically that melts snow and we park it right over one of our drains and that drain runs directly to our engineered wetlands. As for the future, the Buffalo Niagara Airport hopes to start reusing that water for irrigation. Right now, uh, it's being discharged back into the, the creek and streams. It's clean going out. Rather than using potable water uh, to water our trees and grass and shrubs, uh, this is a perfect application for that. 